I've learned over the years, you truly need big ideas that differentiate one neighborhood from another. Most depressed areas, when they're in their depression, are taken over by street artists. Some of it's mediocre, some of it's outstanding art. What it didn't have is a defined center. Neighborhoods need a center, they need a main street. And I said, here I got a parking lot, I got buildings, I got canvases galore. Let me find the greatest of the international street artists and put them all in one place, open it to the public and make it a town center. You know, art and business need each other. You know, art culture really enriches a neighborhood and those don't have to be disparate fields that they can work together in harmony. I have seen a lot of big graffiti projects but I never would have believed that we would be in a neighborhood where street art had become the thing that was supposed to revitalize a neighborhood. I mean, that's such a surprise, but so interesting. I mean, how much has changed and how quickly it's changed and how you can see that change in the photographs. Our idea is to continue this community rejuvenation using art throughout all of Wynwood. That could use something. It would be so cool. It would throw the whole thing across the street. It's only the third year, so yeah. eventually that but will right? all happen. But it'd be so good. We're Primary Flight in like 2005 and 2006. We brought artists in from all over the place to paint the majority of the murals in that district. We had to convince Miami graffiti writers and like Miami street vagrants that they needed to play host to this bigger family so that we could grow. You need to have collaboration and a plan. This is not Disney time, because there needs to be a vision that is bought into by more than one person. In these times, when you have so many cutbacks as far as funding for the arts is concerned, a project like this can have a big impact. It's the best of the best. I like working on unique projects, projects that can change the environment. One of the most important things for me was to bring in unknown artists from regions that most people would really expect to see museum quality work. It's always interesting when you inject art into a community and this seems like a really great experiment right now. If it wasn't here, it seems like it'd be just an industrial shithole. But it seems really great now. The caliber of work here is exceptional. Simultaneously, it obviously functions in a different way and does become a backdrop for an enterprise and for a direction that this neighborhood is going into. And that's not something to knock at all. We had a vision that this was going to happen. It's like the truth. It's, it's going to get out.